speaking to you from the Lowe's Royal Pacific Resort, Universal. Um, we've just checked in. The reason kind of we've, we've done this, it's not like extravagant or anything like that. Um, some of you may already know and have seen, like Universal have um, like express passes, which is kind of like their version of like Disney Fast Pass or Genie Plus, whatever it was. Um, and where you get like front of line access to the majority of the rides. I think there's only Velocicoaster and Hagrid's at the moment that aren't included in that fast pass, where literally separate queue, you go straight to the front and it's unlimited. So you don't um, have to just go on once. You can go on as many times as you like throughout the day and throughout your stay. That is on its own, like ridiculously expensive. You're looking at, I think it's like $130 or something per person per day. So if you stay in one of three universal deluxe resorts, which are Lowe's Raw Pacific, Pacific, where we are now, Hard Rock Hotel and the Portofino Bay, you get with your stay included your express passes. Not just for one day, you get it for the day you check in and the day that you check out. So for a family of five, fast passes alone for one day would have been like a grand. The hotel itself was 340 pound for the night. Um, and we've got fast passes for two days so we're going to absolutely smash Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios these two days and we've got time to chill out on the other days like we did yesterday it was a bit more chilled Friday probably Volcano Bay and maybe just a bit of in between kind of finishing off bits that we didn't do over the first couple of days so an absolute real real kind of top tip is look at if you can afford to stay at you know Royal Pacific it's the cheaper of the three um, we think that's that's a really really good shout. So like I said, we kind of did the whole um, like stopover, indirect flight, and things like that. It, yes, it costs a little bit less and things, but so we could do things like this as well. So we'll update you on how many rides we get on today, um, and we'll let you know how we get on. We are in the parks an hour. How much? An hour later than we thought we were going to be because Muggins here. After giving it all the big one about smashing Islands of Adventure today, I left. I left our express passes in the car, so we get, got through security and everything, uh, walking to get in, and we're like, oh, um, our express passes are back in the car, so I had to walk all the way back to the resort and get them from the car. So we've literally just got in, and it's five minutes to nine when early hours finish. Um, but luckily, this part of the park, which is kind of like the... Oh, the hole's going! Um, this part of the park, which is like Superhero Marvel Land, is just open, so we're going to make our way through here to do some of the stuff that Bodhi can do because he's got a bit left out after not being able to go on some of the like, bigger rides that we were chatting about. So we're going to do Jurassic Park River Adventure, Tyrannodon Flyers, which you can't do if you're like an adult unless you've got a child. So I've never done it before, Ali's never done it. Um, so we're going to try and get on Tyrannodon Flyers as well. That is plan A. Two park rides ticked off, hopefully very shortly. Can anyone remember what used to be in here? We're just having a thing. Oh, I have absolutely no idea. What used Fear to be Factor, in that theatre? Yeah, but Fear, Fear Factor, Factor was at Universal, I think. Fear Factor Live. Next to Toon Lagoon, a wacky great big stage. Why is this so much over there? Hello, so we're just on our first ride of today. Uh, we chose to go on Kong, um, but after the boys' experience yesterday with Spider-Man, they're not really feeling it. So we do, we've done Child Swap. So it's really, really easy. We've queued up as normal, and then at the end of the line, Lila and Joseph come on the ride, and then we, we're now sat in a little family room. So the boys are sat 
watching King Kong, sex. And um, then I'll, when they're done, they'll come and collect me and I'll go on it with Lila and we'll see if I'm gonna give Dexter my honest opinion whether he'll like it or not. But they're, they sort of weren't feeling it. Oh, Jurassic Park River Adventure complete. How do we go? Bodie, what do you reckon, mate? I think we were just going to crash in the T Rex, but we didn't. We survived, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Dex, how'd you get on, mate? Um, instead of drenched in water, I'm drenched in fish. That was a humongous <laughs> drop. I mean, like, it, it was like you were going to go, go like, we. Just like that. You don't need to go on it, guys. You're back. I loved it. When we went down the drop, I could like go and do a million hundred flips. That's my hair. But well, mummy's hair is looking phenomenal. My hair's completely messed up if I had any. But that was epic, team, wasn't it? Did you enjoy yeah. that? Well done, guys. So much Jurassic World merch. Love these pens. Eight dollars. Yeah, I'll send a picture in a sec. Also, love. Yeah, I know you're packing it. Love these. These are perfect for the boys. Boys' bedrooms. I think memory serves me right. Seventeen ninety nine. Focus. Seventeen. Seventeen dollars. No, they're pretty cool. I like those. Maybe a future purchase. So tempted to get one of these. <laughs> Send it. Send it as the kids' water bottle into school. Oh, there's no price. But love that. Hey guys! So we've still got our freestyle cup from Universal. Uh, Lila and Bodie are going to share orange chicken and noodles. Oh. And Bodie and I have got diet chicken. And I got the uh, teriyaki chicken and orange chicken with rice to share. So we're going to have a bit of noodles, a bit of rice. And that came to $21.51 altogether. Dexter, so what are you going to have? Um, I'm going to add chicken cheese and bacon taco. Lovely. Is it just coming? Oh, yeah. So Bodhi, what do you think? Oh, you got mouthful. Nice? Mm -hmm. Yeah? We've just tore the lid off of mine so they can have their own portion. Lila? Good. Thumbs up. Daddy, what? 
Dex, you've got taco, haven't you? From Mel Mo's kitchen, I think it's called. You've got some little tortilla chips. What's inside your wrap? Um, chicken, cheese, and bacon. That's it, really good. And then you've got a little juice. And no, I'm and and you enjoyed it, aren't you, dude? Yeah. So we're just sat here. Lovely views, city walk. Happy tummies. Woo. Let's give you a little update on how we got on with our express passes. So we, what time did we get in the park, Lila? We were in about, uh, about well, after we actually got in, because I forgot the passes, didn't I? So we got in about just before nine. It must have been about like five to 10 to nine. I we did, let's try and remember. Kong, King Kong, we did that first, didn't we? We did the Pteranodon Flyers. We did Jurassic Park River Adventure. We did Flight of Hippogriff. We did Forbidden Journey. Oh yeah, Forbidden Journey. Harry Potter, thanks Dex. The Hulk. We did the Hulk. Lone and I did the Hulk. You guys did the Storm Accelerator, which is like the kitty ride next to it. Lone and I did Doctor Dooms. We did Dudley Do Right's Dripsaw Falls. Dexy yeah, loved it. it. That was not it. express, really. That was not express. So was all in all, 40 minutes. yeah, the longest we waited was for Dudley Do Rights, which was yeah, ridiculous. Was so um, was a, the Dudley Do Right Express queue was longer than the Velocicoaster normal queue, which was 50 minutes. I reckon we were not shy of an hour queuing up for Dudley Do Rights. So um, apart from that, I mean, we walked on the Hulk Liner in about 10, 10 minutes. Yeah. Um, Forbidden Journey, we were on super quick. So I think all in all, Express today, we've done nine rides and it is just gone two o'clock. We were out the park at not long after one. So that's what, if my maths is correct, three hours, four hours. Yeah, four hours. And we managed to do nine rides, walking around, doing all of that. So and we met I think well worth it. These guys met Spider-Man. And also Express passes are a good shout. They're yes, a great shout. Great. Lila, Dexter and Bodie approved. So yeah, absolutely worth their weight in gold for day one. So peaceful and chilled. I mean, I'm so hot. I definitely think my eyebrows are sweating. Please be icon, please be icon, please be icon, please be icon, please be icon. Oh, holy Hades himself. Oh, it smells insane in here as well. Oh, it's lush, isn't it? All right, let's show you around our room at the Royal Pacific, the hallways. I'm so delightful. Uh, we are 1512, which is tower one, floor five, room number 21. I've got to film facing down because it's going to ruin this insane view that we've got. So, really, really good size. So, on the left, big vanity area. Decor's nice and neutral. Huge full neck mirror. Loads of towels. All the usual paraphernalia. Nice bathroom, tub, toilet. Shower's lovely. We've all had showers after we've been through the pool earlier. Really, really nice. Big double wardrobe, so suitcases can go away in there. Hangers, ironing board. Iron was in there too. Two big double beds. Again, decor follows a theme, a sort of Polynesian -y sort of style. Really, really nice. Double bedrooms. The boys are playing with their new toys slash death weapons. Those are, those are the cuddlies we brought with us. We haven't purchased those. And the view, which we're really, really lucky because you could look over car parks, but we've got a phenomenal view out of our window. What rise can you see, guys? I can see um, the Honk, I can see um, Whipwide Rocket, I can see the Chocolate Factory, I can see the Honk, I can see Doctor Dooms. Oh, all of those, all of the above. So, yes, yeah, so we've got Doctor Dooms, the two towers there, that's the Hulk roller coaster there. Uh, you can just about see over Hulk, I'll just about call it Honk then, like Bose does. Over Hulk in the background, there's a um, red one, that's Rip Ride Rocket. Island of Adventure Tower just through there. Um, it literally just has um, kind of been hammering down with rain, so they've closed all of the rides for the moment. But what a phenomenal view to wake up to. Absolutely amazing. It's just like basically we're in a tropical rainforest. 
over looking the, the theme park. Oh, those clouds are communist. Uh, we're about to walk over to, so the walkway to Islands of Adventure is literally just that, that pathway down there. Down there. So we're going to go to Margaritaville tonight, hence the Hawaiian shirt, which you may have caught a glimpse of in the mirror earlier on. Um, we're looking forward to that, aren't we, chaps? Yes! Yeah. Cool, let's go. Oh, even Jimmy's got his own spirit jersey, yes, as tops. Woman to blame. I mean, if you're a fan of the Jimmy Buffet music, you'll know. Parrothead. There are some very loud t shirts. I mean, I'm sitting here wearing a ridiculous Hawaiian shirt. However, I'm more of a I'm more of an understated dresser, aren't I, Lila? I don't normally wear sort of stuff like that, but perfect feeling. That's not so lovely. See, this is more my style. I like that. Those are nice. Typical tumblers. Those are nice. Burgundy type number. Oh, that is thin as that is. Mm, dinner's air, she says. That's all right. Well, it's got, yeah, this is one I like. I think the waiters are wearing it. How much is this going to set us back, Jimmy? 28. Ah, oh, your margarita girl. Oh, she blended in there, but I didn't even notice she. Oh, yes, Dex. You gonna spend your spend your remaining dollars on that bad boy? No, you're gonna give it a miss. Which maybe a shark or a uh... shark or a piranha or a piranha head. I mean, as hats go, this one is decent. What do you reckon? I mean, who doesn't go into a gift shop and try on all the hats? Who are you if you don't? All the candles, Pacific Resort, Scallywag. I've just smelt that one. Absolute dreamy. Who remembers? I mean, when I was a kid coming out here, I used to come to Yankee Candle and just smell all of them. Be sick, have a headache, and just have the smell of cookies and cream in your nose for ages. Jess has got his balloon sword. Bodhi asked for a blue dog. Lada's asked for a, a, an interesting hat. So Tyrell here is making us some balloon paraphernalia. It's looking good. It looks a bit like, um, is it Sleeping Beauty's dress? Make it pink, make it blue. Oh my goodness. You asked for a silly hat, a sword, an animal or a flower. Right, we'll start with you, Dexy man. What do you go for, dude? Yeah, the other kids mac and cheese Bodhi, I mean for a kids meal that's huge. What have you got my man? Um, sweet potato fries and cheeseburger. Cheeseburger in, can you remember? Paradise. Paradise. Lada's got the mac and cheese. mac and cheese and a joke of a hat to go with it. Alessandra, what have you got for? Buttermilk chicken and green vegetables. Oh, green vegetables. Because you have the only vegetable on the table. I, I mean if you know me, then I'm a fussy head, but I've literally just got some chips. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get the key lime pie for pudding, no doubt. We've made our way to Voodoo's. What we're going to do, we're going to grab these delectable donuts and we're gonna have that as our cheeky little breakfast tomorrow morning before we hit the parks. So we just got to go through the 867,000 options which with three children that are not overly keen on making decisions we could be here a while. Don't forget to smash that like button and please subscribe to our channel. See you soon!